y'all i just was talking to the camera and i didn't press record as i was showing you guys the tally that we're at week 13 of garden growth My shelves are all empty and I am going to restart some new seeds soon. We love lettuce in this house, so I'm gonna restart the lettuce because I think I messed them up when I up potted them in from last week's or from a couple of videos ago. But let's show y'all the basil check it out even the little tiny ones that i didn't think we we're gonna grow they are surviving i just got home from getting my nails done and look how cute it is easter weekend and these are my cute nails they're adorable we're ready for easter and spring in this household i am you know pink blue but let's go on and check out the garden and show y'all what's been blooming what's dying <laughs> and what's thriving the sod we got a couple of weeks ago is doing okay okay here's the potatoes they are growing great. We got this from our family friend. Strawberries. Got nothing. The carrots are doing great. The watermelon. My pumpkin is doing good. But look how good these my watermelon vines are doing. My flowers are still doing great. They have their bloom. I believe the snapdragons are getting ready to do again. That thing just died. <laughs> snapdragons up here look like they're going to bloom again. Some marigolds are holding on. Lilies, they're doing okay. Looks like I'm about to have some more blooms on this one. <clears throat> Let's go over here first. Look at all the wildflowers coming in. They look like weeds, but they're wildflowers. The little daisies you guys saw, they grew, then they died. Like I said, there are some things that died and some things that are surviving. My jalapenos got eaten. My basil disappeared and the strawberries are not wanting to grow. My lettuce. Here's my lettuce, all gone. My butterfly plant is doing good. We got a lizard, but my spearmint right here is doing great. Look how great. One, two. Look how crazy this thing is growing. Three. Look how crazy my three zucchini plants are going. The cucumbers are still alive, but they are dormant. Here's a tomato plant and another one. This zucchini plant, I don't know what's going on with it. Hey, ain't, ain't doing so good. Charlotte's web going on over here. Look how awesome. My lettuce is coming in. These ones are starting to. These ones are doing good too. My mint is doing okay. That's this side. My tomatoes are all still here. I have a marigold plant. Not the greatest with flowers I'm learning. We're doing great. We got the lavender here still. But it is Easter weekend. Um, we have a softball game tomorrow morning for Becca. Danny is changing the oil in our trucks. And I'm going to re restart some lettuce. Because we do like lettuce in this. I do like salads. That was the whole point of me getting lettuce. But yeah. It's fun and exciting watching everything grow. Mainly my, well, 
mainly the wildflowers, the zucchinis, that first very long bed. I'm really enjoying watching the stuff grow in there along with my wildflowers. My tomatoes, I think I'm gonna repaint, re, replant them. So I saw an Instagram reel that said, pot your tomatoes sideways and then it'll grow up stronger. And I did that in the long garden bed that I have that you saw with the zucchini. And those two are thriving and growing. So I think that's what I'm going to redo with the, the ones that I have in the taller raised bed. But that is the garden progress for week 13. I I need to show you guys what I got from at home the other night. It is extremely adorable. It's a cat pot. We're inside. <laughs> it's adorable. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but it's going to be great. I think since it's just me in the house right now, back at mom or at church, Danny's still working. I got up early to get my nails done. And I think I am going to sit down and watch some YouTube videos of creators that my family doesn't care for. Good morning. Happy, happy Sunday. Yo. Happy Sunday. We are on our way to go grocery shopping. It is Easter morning today. And we figured we're gonna go do our grocery shopping before everything shuts down for everybody to celebrate. So I don't know if you guys have noticed, me and Danny have lost a bit of weight. And part of that is because we're trying to make a healthier lifestyle. Uh, I have expressed in very old videos that I am a type two diabetic and that comes with having to lose weight. And my eating habits weren't that amazing. And the past couple of weeks I have been creating a meal plan for the family and then I create a grocery list of what we don't have in the house. And then we have been sticking to it. Well, and all of this also stems to us why we started this garden. So we can have our own fresh. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am hoping because one of the nights this week, I have chicken Caesar salad as a dinner. I'm hoping I can use my lettuce. That, I have been showing you guys that has been blooming. <clears throat> Hopefully that can be a part of our dinner. That is the whole point. I know I only have zucchinis and tomatoes. This year it's starting small, but I planted things that I really like and my family likes. Well, the only thing that Danny likes in the garden <laughs> is is the lettuce he's not a big fan of tomatoes but i think no i'm gonna be i was gonna say well i think if um you try my tomato yeah, yeah i'm definitely down to try it i mean you never know i hear homegrown tomatoes are a lot nutrient and tasty compared to and recently i've been you have I've been tried opening it your yeah. eyes to a lot of vegetables and fruits because like I said, I do want to get healthier with you. I do want to be around for a long time with you guys and mm -hmm. have a long, help, happy, healthy life with you. Yes, I do too. Uh, we... But the gardening isn't just about getting like eating healthier food. It's, it's getting it, us outside yeah. and active. It's it not just things. about eating healthier. Because we were finding ourselves sitting on our phone. We'd get home from work. Immediately. And, and we then... would just get on the couch and sit on our phones and watch YouTube videos or Instagram or... And then we just figure out, well, what is an easy meal to cook? Or, yeah. Well, it's 6 o'clock. Why don't we just order something instead of cook something? Like, our our waistlines were definitely showing that. 
So that's why I said having this has been a blessing for us as well because it gets us out more. We're mm -hmm. doing things as a family more. Mm -hmm. As you see in the videos, the kids are involved in it. We're trying to mm -hmm. you know, teach them how to be self-sufficient as well and mm -hmm. us at the same time. So it's an all-around positive yes, it is. experience. And we're getting healthier. We're becoming more self-sufficient. But this is one of the aspects of it. I have my list of things that we want. Which helps keep us on budget too. It helps us save money. Yes. We get healthier food. And I'm food. not worrying like, oh my God, what am I going to make this week? I already have our lunches picked out, our breakfast. I'm very basic when it comes to lunch and breakfast. It's the same thing every day because I just make it in bulk. But I, I am trying to like switch it up every week. I want to start making different things for breakfast that each week... That way we're not getting burnt out on biscuits and gravy casserole or egg burritos. Like I'm trying to switch it out. This is what's working for us. It may not work for you, but I just wanted to give you guys an update of what we're doing to have a better healthy life. And it also helps with your mental health as well. Taking the what are we having for dinner tonight aspect away from it that takes your anxiety and your stress you know oh i'm going to have spaghetti tonight yeah and then you could always have the option well i'm feeling spaghetti tonight let's move barbecue chicken to the next point you at least have a menu idea well let's go into walmart yeah we're at walmart now so let's get it and <laughs> let's get in and get out <laughs> we are done grocery shopping and it's not as bad as I thought we're a family of four and for this week it's $158 we did grab some extra stuff like kitty litter so the groceries probably were a hundred um, the other stuff was extra Danny's in the back over there putting the stuff away now we're gonna go home, start breakfast. Mom will probably be home. Mom will be home around 11.30 and that's when we want to have brunch. We like to have breakfast when mom gets back from church. I make it and Danny makes it. And then, then we eat. Uh, later on, Danny is going to change his truck's oil. Yesterday, we changed mine my truck just cost me a pretty penny this paycheck I got new tires all new lug nuts um, all new filters air filter cabin air filter oil filter and oil and then Danny got his stuff for his truck he's just doing an oil change and some fuel change but that's it so this girl is ready it is going on eight o'clock at night and Danny wants to rearrange the dining room and our old living room area on a Sunday evening when I have to go to work the next day <laughs> but I'm just gonna put you guys down and record this because I don't know. We already have the cat tower over here. We are going to put this fireplace where this is. We're going to make that a coffee bar. And then we're going to put the dining room set in here. Now the cork don't follow it. 
If it's perfect, what are you talking about? Let's keep the sliders on them. <laughs> we have slides. Two hours later. And this is what our new dining room looks like. And I'm going to add these to our Caesar salad tonight. Exciting things happening, right, Becky? Right. What I just got done doing is filling more of the garden bed with some soil. It was pretty low. I figured I could give it some more. And look how amazing these zucchinis are doing. I see these spots are good. And I heard white spots on the side means they're going to be coming in soon. We shall be having some zucchinis real soon. We got green bean vines from a neighbor. Exciting. Patiently waiting for my stuff to grow so I can eat it. But I know it's going to be a little while before anything starts to grow. Well, besides lettuce. Lettuce is. I think probably the easiest. I have seen some of the prettiest butterflies just coming out here just by planting these wildflowers. I don't know if they'll come back over, but there's this little tiny blue with white tips butterfly. It's a little tiny one flying over here. Then I saw a monarch butterfly, the orange and black ones. Mm -hmm exciting guys very exciting let me see can you let's see me zooming in don't fly too far where'd it go over there I don't know if you guys can see it but it's like flapping off. no right there it's flying all over Keep track of it. The little butterfly by the zoo? Mm-hmm. Can barely see it. What are you doing, handsome? Wow. 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 Today again, I found Bronco sleeping with his leg over his head. <laughs> Such a weirdo. Well, I am picking y'all up and bringing y'all outside because I am going to grow some lettuce. I'll repot some, but I'm going to put it right into my garden bed instead of in the little tiny pots because that's my issue that I'm noticing lately. <clears throat> but I want to show you the growth of my basil and my dill and parsley. I brought them out here and kept them close to the light. But look at how beautiful they are. Beautiful. Can you My, look in the mirror again? You are. Not me. Danny's on the grill. He's got, we got some sirloins we're gonna cook up. Mm. I already got lettuce right here. Pop some right here. It fell out. <clears throat> Do I have gloves? Yes. Do I use them? Sometimes. 
So I planted a lot of lettuce and we'll see how they grow. Hopefully we get some good growth. A lot of lettuce. 